This is Mr. Nickel talking about power. Scene one. And take one, hopefully the only one we need. Okay, so we've done most of our concepts in the mechanics or motion topic. We've done about pressure, we've done force, we've done distance, time, and speed, time graphs, all those sorts of things. The last thing that we really need to look at is power. And it's probably one of our easiest concepts, quite nice to leave to last. A couple of key things you need to do is one, you have to have a definition. And all we've got there is that it's the rate at which work is done. So that means how quickly energy is transformed or transferred, basically. So the first thing you need to ask if you've got a power question is, is any work being done? So is a force being applied over a distance? If it's not, then automatically your answer is zero. So sometimes you don't need to do any calculations at all. But if the answer is yes, then you need to apply this equation here. So just a couple of quick things. Power has got the symbol of capital P, not little p. Little p is something else called momentum. It's got the unit of watts, which are a capital W. Again, make sure it's capital. A watt is the equivalent to one joule per second. Now, I've seen in a lot of NCEA papers where they ask, what is a joule? Or what does a joule mean? They mean exactly that. One joule of energy or work being done per second. Right? So that actually tells you what the equation must be, which again is given. One thing I would like to point out mm -hmm. quickly here with the W over T is W is not weight, it's work. Remember that the symbol for weight is F with a little subscript G. So don't get confused with those two. So it's either the change in energy over the change in time or the work being done over a change in time. So the example I'm going to give you here is where I've got a 12 kilogram box and I'm going to lift it up. So I'm going to drag it along and then I'm going to lift it up onto the back of a ute. Now the top of the ute is 1.2 metres, but actually it's going to fall down into a well which is 20 centimetres deep. So it's only one metre from one metre high. So really the hard thing in here is to know well, how high am I actually lifting the box? Am I lifting at one metre or 1.2 metres? Well, I've got to get it over the lift. So the trick in this question is that I actually lift at 1.2 and then I don't do any more work. Gravity does the work to drop it into the well. So I don't have to do any work after that. All right, keep it very simple, hopefully. Well, the first thing I notice is I'm only given 12 kilograms, and that's not a force, so I need to turn it into a force, so I need to turn it into weight. So I'm going to go, well, if work is force times distance, my force is weight, G, which is the mass, 12 times gravity, and in level one, we just use 10 newtons per kilogram for our gravity. So 120 newtons. Then, as I said, we're going to lift that up at 1.2 metres, and then gravity will do the rest of the work for us. So we take the 1.2, which is our maximum height we lift it, and put it into here. So the work being done is going to be 120 newtons times 1.2 metres. Notice that I've got everything in SI units as well. So we end up with 144 joules of work being done. Then I just take that number and put it into my power equation, work over time. So I check my question and it says that this whole process of lifting took two seconds. So I just divide that by two and we get 72 watts. And that's about as hard as these get. The only thing that I could throw you as a curveball, I'll just quickly show you on this board here, Often you'll be shown an inclined plane or a ramp to do the same thing. Now for simplicity, I'm not going to use the same numbers here, I'm sorry. I'm going to use a 3, 4, 5 triangle because it's easy. So let's say that my hypotenuse is 5.0 metres, my height is 3.0 metres, and so the adjacent is 4.0 metres. Let's take our 12 kilogram box again. This time we're going to lift it up 3 metres. We can't just lift it, it's 3 metres, and I'm not 3 metres tall even in my dreams. So I'm going to take my 12 kilogram um, box and I'm going to try and get it up to here. Well, which of these distances am I meant to use? I'm travelling 4 metres, 
I'm also traveling three meters, I'm also traveling five meters, depending how I want to analyze this information. Well, here's where the equation being the change in energy is the change in time. So we're looking at a change in energy. So we have to think, well, which energy is this getting more of? By being pushed up there, the work being done is actually the change in gravitational potential energy. All right, so to get it up that ramp, the work being done is increasing its gravitational potential. So I'm actually trying to find my gravitational potential at the highest point. So MGH, so I'm going to use the three meters, because that's the change in height. Now, I can then find out how much force is required to slide it up the ramp, rearrange it that way. And this is why we use ramps, because you need a smaller force. The trade-off is that it takes you longer to get there if you use the same amount of power. Okay? So EP equals MGH. That would be the change in energy. Again, if I knew how long it took, I could find how, how much power I used. So let's, let's say, for argument's sake, that took 10 seconds to do. All right? I can find out how much power it was. So EP equals MG delta H. So I've got... Sorry, 100, uh, sorry, 12 times 10 times 3.0, which is 360 joules. And then if it took 10 seconds, my power would be 360 joules over 10 seconds, so 36 watts, which isn't much at all. And that's why we use ramps. Okay. Plus to lift it straight up, then I'd end up having to use a bigger force to do it. That's the other reason we use a ring. Alright? So power is not a not a complicated one to use. What gets hard is if you get inclined planes, which of those measurements do you use? You use the height because you're changing, sorry, you're increasing the gravitational potential. So it's the easier value to work with. Alright, stop there.